Hello everyone, this is Ayers, and I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to set up my RAID frames, high awareness, low profile, that I uploaded on the Curse add-on package section. This is a worst case scenario just for people who want to set it up or want to learn to customize it by themselves. I'm going to try to upload a WTF folder so you can just have them automatic, but uh, this is how to set it up by hand. So without further ado, let's start. We're going to need to move these frames out of the way. So. Uh, just start clicking them, just get them out of the way so there's some space to work with. Basically you just want everything on its own so you can see exactly what everything is and as you can see like this group's like hidden underneath this bar. Um, this is basically a starter account just to show you uh, what happens when you have not much set up so you can just get the gist of it. So I moved all, all the bars I can now except for these bars in here which are the action bars. To move these, I'm going to have to use my bartender program, which is a great add-on. It manages your action bars for you. So just type slash BT, hit enter, it loads up bartender. We're going to get to the rest of this in a second, but let's just uncheck lock bars. It's right over here, just the lock, hit close, and we're going to start moving these bars out of the way. Um, I'm going to start moving them down to the bottom of the screen. I've already shrunk them down in size. If you notice, these are going to be smaller than what they'll be on your screen. That is because I do not want to go through the whole thing on the video and click them all one by one. So, this is just a quick show. We're just going to move these down here and uh, going to slide these over. We're going to leave room over here for recount and omen and room over here for the chat box and forte. We'll show you that in a second. So, just stack all the bars on each other. Um, they have the nice little snap feature right up here which allows them to snap together really nicely. doesn't take much effort to get them aligned perfectly if you're a perfectionist like I am. Of course, I just messed up hugely there. Anyways, so just move them all down. Now, I'm going to show you a couple tricks that I do. If you press enter and type slash BT, you'll bring up the bar menu. Over here, we have all our bars. And uh, as you see, I've shrunk the scale to 0.8 for all my bars. It will depend on the size of your screen. This is a 1080p monitor, just so you know. I've also disabled the bag bar. I hate it because I use a bag managing add-on, so I don't need the bag bar, which is see-through right over there. So I disable it. You'll see that in a second. Micro menu. Here's where the tricks come in. You see this little micro menu? It's annoying being like that. I don't like it. So what I do is I increase the rows to five, and all of a sudden, it's a cool-looking double-column menu and it actually fits in nice and neat into your UI without being on top wasting space. I also do this with bar number six because bar number six sticks out there so if you make six rows you can drag it over here and snap it and it fits perfectly into place. Now you can drag your, your pet or stance bar down in your vehicle bar right here snap the micro menu a little over closer to it and voila you now have a full little setup and it's very compact we're going to use this as our height line this is where we're going to try to keep everything under to give as much space on the screen as possible so without further ado let's get rid of some of these frames this is put in by x pearl we do not need it you'll never use it just hit x on it next we have voodoo's if you type slash vd options Voodoo is a fully featured raid frame manager and healing um, add-on. It basically copies what Healbot, Grid, do, and it does it better. It is one of the highest rated add-ons in all of Curse, and uh, it's for a good reason. If you start using this, you'll quickly realize why it is better than all the other add-ons, and that's just my humble opinion. So, let's start getting rid of some of these extra frames that it puts in by default. If you click over here on the Move panel, you can move this little over here and up here we have panel one this is the regular raid frames this is for all the groups of people this is all you want I do not like having pets because I do not want to try to heal the pets when there are players who will die pets usually don't make up much DPS if you like to heal pets then you can keep that up main tanks my guild does not actually assign these in these kind of setups where the add-ons can actually check it so I just get rid of these frames if you do have someone who uses um, the setup of um, like assigning tanks and such with add-ons uh, then these things will be able to see them but uh, I just don't use them I just use it by eye so you have to click the X once to clear the panel and the X twice to get rid of the panel so all you want is panel one leave all eight groups here even though you'll most likely never be in a 40-man group just leave them there because they hide anyways so uh, we're gonna start getting rid of the rest of the panels if you go over here to buffs you'll see right here it has a voodoo buff watch bar 
it's kind of nice for some people but I have a different buff watching add-on which is superior so we're gonna disable that and we should be done um, there's a lot of other options in voodoo and we'll cover a few of those in a minute but uh for now let's just move on we're gonna move recount and we're gonna put it down over here where we want it and also omen omen is not showing up unless you're in a raid environment with a boss or monster that you guys are attacking so you have to type slash omen toggle and that will enable omen i already have it nice and set down here which is not normal but you'll have to drag it over and make it look pretty if you right click it you can click test mode and make sure that all the numbers and names and everything will line up pretty and uh just make sure that it's going to be overall fine if uh you keep recounting omen the same size you'll be able to see the numbers in both of them as long as you can see it in omen of course all right so now chat frames let's move chat um chat's locked by default you just right click it and click unlock window um, we use Pratt's in this system, which um, adds a bunch of extra stuff to the thing. Basically, it colors names and such for you and assigns channels and does uh, sh abbreviations for things. It puts timestamps. You can change all these settings by typing slash Pratt and uh, go through it. There's a tons of settings. The quickest one that I will show you is chat formatting timestamps to disable timestamps if you do not like them.